Hey everyone, it's Michael from Notefolds, and today I'm going to show you another card with the Jar of Love stamp set and die set. This one is a really cute one with a fish. He's kind of a fish gif just hanging out there. And I've said it before, but what's great about this stamp set is that you've got the coordinating dies, including one for that fish. So should you want to punch out that fish, you can do exactly that. So if you don't have this set yet, you can head over to my website, which is notefolds.stampinup.net and get that ordered. And once you've got it, or if you have it now, we can get started making this card. The paper we'll be using for this card is an eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of Bermuda Bay for the base, a three by three piece of pumpkin pie for the background, and a two and a half inch by two inch piece of Whisper White for the jar. The ink we'll be using is Bermuda Bay for the jar and for the water, pumpkin pie for the fish, and chocolate chip for the sentiment. Our stamps will be the small jar, the fish, the water, and the best fish's sentiment. The only die we'll need for this is the small jar. Let's start by stamping our jar and our water. So we have our two and a half inch by two inch piece of Whisper White here and our Bermuda Bay. We'll start with the jar. So we'll ink it up in Bermuda Bay. And then we'll stamp right in the center of our paper. Now next we're going to take the water and what we're going to do is we're going to ink that up, but we're going to stamp it off. I have some scrap paper over here. We're going to stamp it off twice. So let's make sure we got good amount of ink on there a little bit. So we're just going to stamp off twice and then we'll line that water up with the jar and stamp on the inside. So that way you can see it made a very nice light impression. Next we'll stamp the fish. So here's the pumpkin pie and we'll take our fish stamp and get that inked up nice. And then we'll put this fish right in the middle of the water. Now that we have the jar, the water and the fish stamped, we're going to run it through the Big Shot with the small jar die. And here's our jar and fish after we've run it through the Big Shot with the die. Now here's our card base and you can see that I've folded it in half at four and a quarter inches as you normally would. And then I have the pumpkin pie here and I've already pre-taped it as you can see. So what I'm going to do is just put it into the center of my card, but I'm going to do it just a little bit off center, a little tilted there, just to give the card a little bit more action and interest. Now with the fish jar, you want to put some dimensionals on the back of that, just so it stands off the card a little bit more. And we're going to just try to center that right in there. And that looks really great just standing off the paper like that. And of course we could continue to embellish the outside of the card. Now bring in the chocolate chip ink here and our best fishes sentiment. We'll open this up and we're going to just stamp our sentiment right in the center of the inside of the card. There we go, it looks great. And here's my completed card. You can see that I did add some more embellishment in the way of the ribbon and the bow here, just tied that off with some nice coordinating ribbon to the pumpkin pie paper. And then I also stamped the fish here in a nice pattern using the Bermuda Bay on the Bermuda Bay background, just a little bit subtle, but it does really punch, give a nice punch to that orange fish right in the middle, that goldfish there. Well, I hope you liked making this card with me today. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you've tried making a card like this or anything else with the, with the Jar of Love stamp set. You can always hit subscribe so you can see our other videos, including more with the Jar of Love stamp set. And if you don't have that set yet, well, you can head over to my website, which is notefolds.stampinup.net. And until next time, I'll see you later.